Now, a tiny, potentially deadly radioactive capsule that was lost in the Australian outback more than two weeks ago has been found. Uh, this is what it looks like next to an Australian 10 cent coin. As you can see, it's tiny, just six millimetres in diameter. A massive search operation was launched after it fell off a truck somewhere along a 1400 kilometre stretch of highway towards Perth. The capsule was found two metres from the side of the road after specialist equipment detected radiation being emitted from it. Uh, so some images here of the area where it was found. Let's go live now to Western Australia's capital, Perth. James Carmody is a reporter there. He's been covering this search. So really like the proverbial needle in a haystack. Um, what do we know about how something that is potentially deadly fell off this truck in the first place? Well, Anita, to give you an idea of what we're talking about here, we 3D printed a replica of the capsule in the newsroom, and that's just how tiny it is. Now, the device is used in mining to measure things, but it's dangerously radioactive. And that tiny little capsule caused a massive search operation and a great deal of concern here in Australia when late on Friday afternoon there was a extraordinary press conference with members of the public warned to look out for this tiny capsule because it emits dangerous levels of radioactivity, people were told do not pick it up because it could lead to uh, radiation burns and being in the vicinity of it could cause radiation sickness. Now, it was believed to have fallen off a truck somewhere between that mine site and uh, 1,400 kilometres south to here in Western Australia's capital city, Perth. So people were told to even check their tyre treads to see if the tiny silver capsule may have been picked up there. Of course, it then led to a massive search operation with firefighters, police and military walking uh, the Great Northern Highway to search for the capsule and specialist equipment brought in from all over the place. It was uh, six days later that it was found uh, earlier today, a car driving along with some of this uh, detection equipment on board doing 70 kilometres an hour, uh, detected a ping uh, along the side of the road and it was then found two metres from the road where it's believed to have somehow fallen off this truck and they've set up a 20 metre exclusion zone around it. It'll then be put safely into a lead box and the military will be brought in to verify that it is indeed the capsule. It'll then be stored in a secure location tonight and brought back down here to Perth uh, to be checked by the health department tomorrow. Uh, briefly, how much worry uh, do you think this caused uh, amongst the public? It was an extraordinary press conference. It, it felt like something from a superhero movie, um, hearing that there was a radioactive capsule that had somehow gone missing uh, somewhere um, and it could be anywhere and anyone could find it. But um, it also led to a great deal of questions as to how something so potentially dangerous could somehow fall off the back of a truck. Um, questions asked of the mining company involved, Rio Tinto, who later put out an apology and said that it was a, a contractor that had been transporting uh, the device. Uh, questions also asked about who's going to foot the bill for the enormous search effort. Uh, it emerged earlier that uh, the maximum penalty for something like this here in WA is only $1,000. Now, our Prime Minister said earlier today that that is ridiculously low. But uh, we have also just in the last little while heard from Rio Tinto that they said if the state government makes the request, they would be happy to reimburse the cost of that enormous search exercise. OK, James, thanks for bringing us up to date and for the 3D printed uh, model as well of the capsule. James Carmody there.